Hey everyone, my name is Nick, and today on the Rose Pig Cooking Channel, we're making Belgian waffles. Gold and crispy on the outside, light and fluffy on the inside, really easy to make at home. But first things first, to make Belgian waffles, you need a Belgian waffle maker. If you want to pick one of these up, I'll link in the description below. Let's get this started. Two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. One tablespoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Whisk that up. Got our Belgian waffle maker preheating. Gonna add three tablespoons of sugar. And you wanna use pure cane sugar. It's much better than the processed white sugar you get. And for Belgian waffle, that crystallized cane sugar really makes a difference. Whisk that in. Now we'll add our wet ingredients. Two cups of whole milk. Half a cup unsweetened applesauce. Two egg yolks. And we separated our eggs because we're gonna whip our egg whites to stiff peaks and we're gonna fold that into our mixture and make it nice and light and airy. Whisk all the lumps out of that. And we'll add three tablespoons of melted butter. Fold that in. And for flavoring, we're gonna put a teaspoon each of vanilla extract and almond extract. And the almond extract is gonna give it a nice nutty flavor. I really like the almond extract in this Belgian waffle recipe. So we'll incorporate all that. And now we'll whip our egg whites. So we have our egg whites nice and whipped to stiff peaks. And we're gonna fold that in. All right, our waffle maker's ready. Let's get these cooked. All right, guys, so you want to give this a generous coating of nonstick cooking spray. And then we'll get our batter in. You don't want to fill it up too much, otherwise you're going to have a big mess. Close it up. Give it a flip. It usually takes about three to five minutes, but different models of different Belgian waffle makers, you know, the times will be different, but they usually come with this light indicator. All right, so it's been about six minutes. Now it looks nice. Let's take that out. And when you're storing your waffles while we're making the rest of them with the batter, Put them on a wire rack. This way the air could circulate around the waffle and it'll keep that nice crispy exterior. If we were just to put it on a plate or a tray or any flat surface, it's going to create steam. And then that's going to soften our exterior of the waffle and we're going to lose that nice crispy texture. So let's make the rest of these with our batter. So we got six total waffles out of this recipe. And one thing I forgot to mention guys, in between waffles on your waffle maker, before you add more batter, let the waffle maker come to temperature again so it's nice and preheated when you add your batter so you'll get that nice crispy texture. So go ahead, give this recipe a try. Super easy. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. We put out new videos weekly. Give this video a like. It really helps out the channel. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.